Happy Thursday, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. Today I'm doing a commissioned cherry salad bowl and I'm turning this blank here. It is 14 and almost a quarter by five and a half. I am gonna have to lose that quarter in diameter for the simple fact it's not perfectly round and I'm okay with that. Now, this, this gentleman also wants the salad fork and salad spoon. I'm not gonna do that on camera. I don't, I don't know if I'll get to that this week or whenever, but I will definitely post pictures of those um, fork and spoon when I get those done. But I do wanna show you how we start out a blank. This is one of the spoon blanks. And we start out like this. This will actually be cut in half and this will be two spoons. And once that's done, it's all hand carving after that which takes some time to do, but we love doing it. That's something my husband and I like to do together. It just, it's it's kind of like a bonding time as well as um, just expressing ourselves through our work. Um, that is all I have to share right now. If I think of anything else, I definitely will be sharing it throughout the video. If you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you never miss out. I post a new video every Thursday at 7 a.m. and I'd love to have you part of my YouTube family. And don't forget to give me that thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, it helps the analytics and helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share me on your social media platform. I would greatly appreciate that. Get me out there so other people can watch my content as well. All right, guys, I am going to jump on that lathe and start turning. I hope you guys enjoy this video. We're running about 350 to 360 RPM. I'm using my Hurricane 5 8 inch bowl gouge to true up the outside of this blank. This piece is kind of wonky because of the bottom part. What I'm going to do is get this trued up and I wish I could crank the speed up but I'm stuck at 350 to 360 RPM. As soon as I can get this trued up enough to where I can crank that speed up, I'm going to do it because I get such better cuts if the speed is up on my lathe. But as soon as I get this trued up, I'll start on the bottom. Now, I'm not going with a waste block on this piece for the simple fact is this wood is still wet. And I had a bad experience with a wetter piece of wood and the waste block. It did not adhere to that wet piece. And once I put it on the lathe, I thought it was on there tightly and found out that the, the wood was still pretty moist and the hot melt glue did not stick to it. So that's something you've got to take in consideration if you're going to use a waste block is make sure that your piece of wood is dry because that glue will not stick to wet wood. If you notice on this, there is a section that has a piece of bark on there. I'm not going to leave that. I want to make this bowl as thin as possible and that's kind of in my way to be able to do that because it goes down in the bowl kind of deep. So I am going to remove all that and then um, once I'm done with that, then I can uh, finalize the shape, get my tenon on and we'll get this spun around and we'll work on the inside. The last couple of videos I did, my microphone was kind of acting up. And if you notice in this video, it sounds a lot better. Well, I tried everything that I possibly could to get that microphone to work on my laptop again. And 
I couldn't get it. My computer normally updates itself, but there was this one update that I had to click update all. And I did, and for some reason, that update changed my mic settings and I could not figure it out for the life of me. So I decided, okay, well, I'm just gonna look into getting a, an outside mic um, to plug into my laptop and see if that um, settles the problem. And it, and it has, I think it sounds a lot better. This in here is really nice. And I will make sure that I link it in the video description and also pin it in the comments if you're interested in one as well. But this in here is called a newer, it's a condenser microphone kit. Um, the kit includes a pop filter, a ball type foam cup, a metal shock mount, table mountain clamp so it mounts to a table which is really nice and uh, has a condenser microphone and I tell you what, it has it's really really nice. I. I absolutely love it. It has a headphone um, if you want to use the headphones too as well. So um, yeah, I definitely will link that. It's uh, not very expensive. I think um, on the Prime Day that they had, I I got it for $40.99. I think I saved like 15% off. Um, I think if you're not a Prime member, I think I've seen it was like $47.99, something like that. But anyways, I'll link it in the video description below, like I said, if you're interested. And I also have that pinned in the comments as well. I'm going to cover the bottom of the bowl a little bit with you guys. Now, normally when I'm doing the bottom of my bowls, and when I first started turning, I did struggle with that. But I will remove the majority of the material now with my bowl gouges. And I my go-to bowl gouges for that is my Hurricane 5 8 inch bowl gouge and my Hurricane half inch bowl gouge. Once I get to that spot to where I feel confident enough that I removed the biggest part of the the material I will switch over to my woodpecker ultra sheer full-size round the reason why I switch my tools to this is I get a cleaner cut I don't have to worry about having that little indent in the bottom of my my pieces um, because I can do really light passes with this almost like a, a really fine shear scrape and that's what I do and I remove just a little bit of material and you could you could pretty much see in here it's where it goes from, you can see that little divot or that little nub to nothing. It's just smooth as can be. And I just kept practicing and practicing and practicing with that. Now I do struggle with the, when from the bottom part of the bowl to the side, that little curve that starts going up, that's my struggle point right now. I either get it uh, too thin or I don't get it thin enough. So that's something I definitely have to work on. But I'm not afraid to admit that I have issues and I have to work on, you know, certain spots of wood turning and I'm never going to be uh, perfect. Um, I don't care um, how long you've been wood turning, you still have improvements you can make and everybody does. And I look at it that, you know, I got my whole life to improve on wood turning and I'm looking forward to it. All right, well, enough being said on that, I will get to the sanding. Um, I started at 60 grit and I worked my way all the way through to 400. After I was done sanding, I wiped it back with denatured alcohol and I applied one coat of sanding sealer. I let that dry completely and then I denibbed it with a scotch bright pad. After I was done with the sanding sealer and denibbing it, I did wipe it back again with some denatured alcohol be before I applied the Brad's sanding paste. The reason why I decided to use Brad's sanding paste after the sanding sealer was I got to notice and after I denibbed it that this I still had kind of um, you was able to see lines from the sanding sealer and I had to go back and sand that um, from 400 um, to remove those and after i was done with the brad sanding paste i did wipe that off with denatured alcohol just to remove any residual that might be there before i applied the tried and true original now with the tried and true original i applied one coat and then i let that set for an hour i come back in and denibbed that with well not really denimbed it i burnished it with um steel wool after I did that, I applied the second coat of tried and true. Now that stayed on there. I'm, I'm going to guess it was around six hours because I went and checked it and it was completely soaked into the wood. So I went ahead and decided, okay, well, I'm going to burnish that and then apply the third coat and see where I stand. Well, the third coat worked. Um, it, 
it turned out fairly good so I didn't have to add any more coats to that um, after that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. This bowl is actually turned out better than I expected it to. Um, I did off camera use my torch and just kind of burn the rim a little bit. I think it made this cherry bowl pop. You'll have to let me know in the comments below what you think, but here it is. I think it really added a lot of character because when it was on the lathe and I was looking at it, it just, it wasn't speaking. Um, it just didn't have that wow factor to it and i still gotta do the buffing of the the finish because it's still kind of blotchy from that um but i think it made the the whole bowl pop because you couldn't really pick out too much of the detail of this bowl before that so i'm glad i did that i think it turned out really nice um you'll have to let me know in the comments below what you think i think this is a very nice piece of cherry i did have a couple cracks that I had to address and I filmed it but for some reason I can't find the footage I don't know what happened to it but anyways here is the crack and I filled it with some star bond white and the same with that one there if you can see the there it is I just think that that looks really good I, I'm starting to really like that star bond white I think it's works really well and I, there was one other crack and I can't find it. Um, so it blended really well. I used the shavings and I, I blended it in. It was in the, it was in the bottom somewhere and I can't find it anywhere. So it blended really well. So I'm glad about that. But if you're interested in trying Starbond, I will have a link in the video description below as well as pinned in the comments if you want to try Starbond or you just need to stock up. I do have a coupon code where you can save yourself 15% off. Don't forget to use those coupon codes that are linked in the video description as well. Save yourself some money. And um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, come back next week. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna be doing, but I'm, I'm, I want to do something kind of fun. So we'll see where that goes. So you have to come back and watch next week. All right, guys, until next week, you all take care. Don't forget to stay till the end for the glam shots. Guys, take care. God bless. Goodbye.